Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. And I'm going to demonstrate how to make this really pretty candy fabric basket. Now I have pom-pom fringe on the edge. You can use really any type of fringe that you like. You can even use the little tassel fringe. You want to make sure that your lining fabric is different than the fabric on the outside so that you have this nice little border. Okay, let's get started. All of the supplies and cutting instructions for the candy basket will be listed below your YouTube screen in the description section. So just scroll down till you see the words show more, click on that and you will see the information appearing. This is the fabric for the outside of the candy basket. On the back of the fabric, the not so pretty side, take your fusible interfacing and the side that's very rough feeling is where the glue is. You put that down on the back side, then follow packets and instructions for fusing it on. It will require a hot iron with steam. So you bring those two front sides together of your fabric. Then in the lower two corners, this is your longest edge right here. So that's the edge you want to do it on. Cut out a two and a half inch square. So you put your two and a half inch mark on your ruler on the edge of your fabric. Take something to trace around it and then cut it out. And make sure you do it over on this side also. Now you're going to stitch one half inch wide seam on this edge, the bottom edge, and the other side. Now I recommend you either give a good finger pressing to open up these seams or use your iron. Make sure you finger press the other edge. So you do it on the two sides and the bottom one. Now pull on the corners so that the bottom seam and the side seam come together. Then place pins across here and stitch a one half inch wide seam. You do both corners like that and this is what it looks like when it's done. You repeat the same steps for the lining but you do not put any interfacing on it. Now take the fabric that's for the outside and turn it pretty side out. Now take the fabric for the outside and place it inside of the lining. Bring the edges together up at the top of the lining and the fabric for the outside. Place pins all around the top edge. On one area you're going to indicate an opening that you won't stitch over. So over here I have two pins that's telling me where I need to stop stitching. So I'm going to start over here at this one pin, back stitch, and stitch all the way around. And then when you get to the two pins, back stitch. And your seam is one half inch wide. Before you begin stitching that top edge, make sure you check to see that your side seams are open on both the outside here and then on the inside. Now go through your opening and begin to turn it front side out. Now push the lining inside of the fabric for the outside. I'm using the pom-pom fringe. Like I said, you can use any fringe that you like. On the pom-pom fringe and tassel fringe, if you decide on that, you will have a little band right here. I'm going to be stitching this band on the fabric for the outside. If you want the band to show, then you would stitch it on the lining side. So before you put the fringe on, you want to go ahead and press your upper edge. And the opening, you want to press those edges inside. Because I don't want the band to show on my candy basket, I'm going to push my lining fabric on the outside. 
I'm going to place the band near the edge so that the pom-poms hang below this edge when the basket is done. Now I usually just hold it on, stitch a little bit, line this up, stitch a little bit more and keep doing that all the way around. You may want to put your zipper foot on so that when you are stitching you can get up close and you won't have the pom-poms getting in your way. So you're going to stitch down the center of the band. For this next step you want to measure the bottom of the basket to see how big it is. Mine came out to around five inches. On another one I made it came out to around five and a quarter. So it's really important you measure your own. So then after you measure it you want to add three quarters of an inch to that measurement and bring your two pieces of fabric front sides together and then stitch a quarter inch seam on three sides. On this corner and this corner you're going to cut some of the fabric off and then trim a little bit more off on each side of the corner. Now reach inside and turn it front side out. Whatever the measurement was for the bottom of your basket, mine was five, you're going to cut out a piece of cardboard that measurement and kind of cut it slightly under that square size. Then take your fabric and insert the cardboard inside. Now you have two ways you can finish this off. I like to fold one edge underneath the cardboard and use hot glue to glue it down. Then take the other edge, fold it under, and hot glue it on top. Or you can take needle and thread, folding your edges under, and do a little whip stitch to close up the edge. Here's my finished basket. Now I'm going to take that cardboard and fa fabric that's covering it and put it down in the inside of your basket. Your edges are folded over. Mine's folded over maybe an inch and a half. You can fold it over as much as you want. And you can see that the pom-pom fringe just hangs below. Then of course you can start loading it up with whatever your favorite candy is, which mine is peppermint. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you try making this candy basket. Now, if you're interested in, a, in another candy basket I have, or you want to make a candy bag, I have several tutorials on that. So to get to those tutorials, you want to scroll down below your screen and look for the words, Show More. Click on that and it will expand open and you will see the links and remember the cutting instruction and supply list is listed below. Now make sure you follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl. This is Manny. See you next time.